Hi there! Welcome back to Top 10 Famous Channel. The Mask debuted on the big screen in 1994. It was a cult classic in the 1990s thanks to daring visuals, strange humor, and eye-popping special effects. In today's video, Top 10 Famous will find out where the cast of The Mask is now and how their lives have changed over the years. Peter Green as Dorian Tyrell Peter Green made for a menacing antagonist to The Mask. He played Dorian, the right-hand thug of Nico that eventually went on to overtake his criminal empire. Recently, he's been seen on television and guest spots on Chicago PD and several independent films. Attending The Mask when he was 29, he's now 57 years old. Dennis Forrest as Sweet Eddie The Canadian actor played the henchman Sweet Eddie when he was 34 years old. This was the role bringing him closer to audience. Before this film, he was the lead villain in the second season of the War of the Worlds television series. Forrest died suddenly following a massive stroke in Los Angeles on March 18, 2002, aged 42 after having dinner in a Franklin Avenue restaurant in Hollywood with a few friends. Miss Alan Stewart as Orlando Longtime stuntman and stunt coordinator Stewart, who has lent his talents to more than 100 films, including Galaxy Quest 1999, Anger Management 2003, and Code of Honor 2016. He has also had a successful acting career, appearing in films such as The Mask 1994, playing Orlando at the age of 33. Now he's 61 and still working hard as an actor. His recent role is Rot Creep in the 2022 film Those Who Walk Away. Reg E. Cathy as Freeze Freeze was one of the first roles Reg Cathy played when he started his acting career. At that time, he was 36 years old. Since then, he attended in a number of films and made multiple appearances on TV movies. However, it was not until 2002 when he played the role as Norman Wilson in The Wire, Cathy gained much attention. Unfortunately, Cathy died at his home in New York City in 2018 at the age of 59. He was reported to have had lung cancer. Peter Rygert as Lieutenant Mitch Kellaway. As Lieutenant Mitch Kellaway, the then 47-year-old actor Peter Rygert brought a wry writ and a deadpan delivery to an ordinary bland cop role. With a career spanning over 30 years, Peter Rygert has appeared beside numerous well-known celebrities in film. Born in 1947, he's now 75 years old. Jim Dohan as Detective Doyle Having been a well-known name thanks to his performances in famous series throughout the 80s, Jim Dohan's role of Detective Doyle at the age of 35 was hardly his first comedic foray. Now at the age of 63, he is currently employed as a performing arts teacher at Harvard Westlake School in Los Angeles. Amy Yasbeck as Peggy Brandt Amy Yasbeck played Peggy Brandt, the intrepid reporter who followed the mask as his antics became famous throughout town. She was then 32. Recently, Amy has not been active in movie industry, but has given her time to the John Fitter Foundation for Aortic Health, in which she created her late husband John Ritter's honor the same year as his passing. Born in 1962, she's now 60 years old. Richard Jenny is Charlie. Many of the great early moments in The Mask came from Stanley Ipkiss's bank buddy Charlie Schumacher, played by Richard Jenny, who was then 37. Sadly, he was found shot in his West Hollywood apartment in 2007 by his then-girlfriend. He died at the age of 50. Ben Stein as Dr. Arthur Newman Dr. Arthur Newman was played by Ben Stein, who was then 50. Before entering the movie industry, Ben Stein was mostly working as a writer, lawyer, and commentator on political and economic issues. Now at the age of 75, he mainly works as a writer as he writes a regular column in the conservative media outlets The American Spectator and Newsmax. Orestes Modesina as Nico Orestes Modesina, then 53, played the intimidating Nico. 
His career as an actor began in the 70s, but he has written, directed, and produced many films as well, including The Mask. Now at the age of 81, he rarely appears on social media, but is still making some guest appearances in several independent films. Tim Bagley as Irv Tim Bagley began his acting career in the 30s and has made a name for himself for his roles in theater and on TV before playing the role of Irv in The Mask when he was 37 years old. Now at the age of 65, Tim is still actively on stage, small and big screen. His recent appearance is on the final episode of TV series Grace and Frankie, which was premiered in April 2022. Aside from an actor, he is also a comedian. Jolie Fisher as Maggie the supporting role of Maggie was played by Jolie Fisher, who was then 27 years old. Before The Mask, Fisher had spent seven years working in the movie industry. She came to the limelight when she was cast as Paige Clark on the sitcom Ellen. She played the role until the series ended in 1998. That same year, she earned a Golden Globe Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress, Series, Miniseries, or Television Film. Besides an actress, she's also a singer. Now she's 55 years old and recently appeared on the spin-off TV show How I Met Your Mother premiered in early this year. Cameron Diaz as Tina Carlisle Tyrell's glamorous and beautiful girlfriend was played by Cameron Diaz, who was 22 years old at that time. When she signed on to play that role, it was her first role in a major motion picture. At present, Diaz no longer attends Hollywood events, and she only does select few interviews. She is now an entrepreneur and a writer. Born in 1972, she's now 50 years old. Jim Carrey as Stanley Ipkiss slash The Mask The rubber-faced Canadian actor Jim Carrey was practically made for the role of The Mask thanks to his outrageous body language and expressions that perfectly complemented the CGI. Most recently, a grueling court case has kept his name in the news, but for all the wrong reasons, and his recent films have received mixed reviews, but hopefully he will land a project that will showcase his unique talents. Attending the film when he was 32, he's now 60 years old. And that's all for our video today. I hope you find this interesting. If you have any questions or recommendations, leave a comment in the section below. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.